there are, I've always lived with icons, and there were certain icons that particularly drew me. And I realised that if I was perhaps going to understand a little bit more about them, I, it, learning how to create one would be a great way of learning more. Um, so um, I did the academy course, and coming here has been the next step on that, I think. Now, you have done in-person courses before, so how does this compare to, to those previous experiences? Much more extensive in time, a certain freedom to, uh, to spend time doing it, whereas the other in-person courses I've done have been uh, between the hours of, um, mm -hmm. whereas this has been open as it were. Um, so that's been great. It's been smaller. So we've had more attention, as it were, um, and we've been able to see demonstrations really clearly. Enjoyed the, what I would call, robust criticism. <laughs> I don't think it is for the, I don't think it's for the faint-hearted, heart and I think you need to be fairly serious about iconography to, mm. to engage with it uh, uh, the, in the way we are doing this week. This is Passion Week, um, and here we are in the Holy Land in Bethlehem. I mean... Have you been here before? And if so, how does this all come together for you? No, I've not been here before. Um, the, the thing that struck me most is the, the unrest and the tension here. And it feels uh, crucial, in a sense, that we're here painting icons of the passion. There's something in this place of Christ's birth, there is such unrest. Um, and I guess that will probably be that differently. I guess there will be a degree of unrest wherever Christ is, is really brought into the world because it will provoke responses and all sorts of things. But here it feels like it's really important that the sisters are here and that we're here in Passion Week painting icons of